y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. Um, it is a little cool outside today. We had our fake fall like we always do here in Tennessee and then it got hot again. Um, and today it's a little cool. I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be like today, but what's it like where you're from? Uh, I know some areas are getting snow like up in the mountains, which I know is not uncommon, but I'm always just a little jealous of that. So yesterday was the Nashville flea market. Now Greg had to work, he was closing. So we did get up and go yesterday morning. Um, we were only there for a couple of hours. We did not get a whole lot. Y'all, I'm so proud of us. There were a lot of things that I just left. Um, I uh, was very excited to go. There's this lady, she set up every month and this month she had a lot of her vintage Christmas out. But I had a lot of the things. Um, we were looking for one thing specific. She didn't have it, so we didn't buy anything. We, um, I saw uh, lots of Santa mugs. I didn't get any. Okay, here's the question, the answer to the question. So, like I know, squirrel. Uh, so many of you replied with what? how many Santa mugs you thought I had. Um, one of you said like, I don't know, 200 and maybe 47 or 57, something like that. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I do not have that many. Um, but funny story, another squirrel, we found eight more la night for last that I had tucked away in a drawer that I had gotten actually at, um, the junk hunt and I had forgotten about them. So anyway, total number for my, um, Santa mug, 103. So, now that does include 10 that are new. They're Hobby Lobby and Walmart. Um, but the rest of them are all vintage. The majority of them, I can't tell you a number off the, off the top of my head, are stamped Japan. So, I was a little shocked um, that I had that many Santa mugs, but I definitely have had a lot of fun placing them all throughout my kitchen in my living room. Okay, so back to the flea market. Anyway, we saw lots of things that we wanted, um, but we just, you know, we took a certain amount of cash and we actually left with a little bit of money, y'all. So there are three things that were large items and I'm just gonna insert a picture um, at the end of what those things were. And I won't have that stuff um, play, uh, styled until after Christmas. And one of the things I did kind of buy specifically for my laundry room, y'all are so sick of me talking about my laundry room, but I am too. Here is some of the problem. We're not really on the same page about some things we wanna do in there. And that is kind of the problem and just time. But anyway, let's get into this um, haul from the Nashville flea market. So, I went to my lady. There's a lady there um, that I go to every month. She works at one of the estate sales that I go to a lot, like one of the companies. And so, she had three of these um, vintage felt little candles. Um, they are plastic. All this is plastic. And they still have, you can see part of, on each of them, the Woolworths tag on it is that's where they you know who sold them um <clears throat> so we did get three of these just very uh i don't know what you want to say you know small little plastic i bet they weren't 10 cents piece i don't know not not that's not what we paid but uh probably very affordable back in the day she had one little um felt santa so we grabbed him And she had some vintage cards. This one says, to mother from the both of us at Christmas. Greg picked this one out. I know the, <clears throat> the glare is hard to see. Let me just take it out. Let me see if it's used. Well, I don't think they are. No, because they usually charge a little bit more if you get a used one. Um, I do have some used ones. And then this one is Loving kisses to my husband. I have not got my vintage cards styled yet. Um, that's on the list because we have not finished decorating yet. 
So that was all we got from her. She told us just to make a pile. And so we got all of that for $10. I thought that was a great deal. Greg got a um, another ginger beer bottle. <clears throat> he was excited to get this. I, don't, I think he might have paid $15 for it. I'm not really sure. But I think this is like two or three now that he has with writing. Y'all, I know the glare is bad. Then I found, um, now this was $13, but it's still in the container, a copper fire frog. And I'm going to keep it in the container because I think that's cool. And also from that same vendor, I have been wanting to get a couple of ice picks. Um, and so I found a red handle ice pick for $5. He had some with writing on them, like um, advertisement for businesses, but they were like, they may have been eight or 10, I don't remember which, but I like the red one. I also got for $2 a piece, Ruskin's Sesame and Lilies. This is a English class little book. Right. And I think the copyright date was 1913. And I also got Burns poems, and I kind of think I might have this exact same book. Um, there's the side. Now, this does not have the copyright date in it. That page is tore out, but what it does have is, if I can get it open, it has a handwritten note. It says it was awarded to Lila on December 19th of 1884 for proficiency in, and I can't make out what she got proficient in, <laughs> by her teacher, M. Woods. And it is that beautiful handwriting that, you probably won't be able to see it because it's written in pencil. But I love that handwriting. So each of these books were $2. Now, my other Burns book probably doesn't have a note written in it, but I need to find it. Wouldn't that be cool? if it was given by the same teacher to his uh, students. I, okay, I'm on a mission now. I have to find that book and see. We also got this big butter mold. Now, it was $35. Here's why we bought it. The stamp is a swan. I loved that. So I grabbed that. We bought two things and one of them is a picture so there was this vendor and um <clears throat> greg has been looking for like old antique pitchfork and i don't think that this one is all that old it may be and it may just be that the wood the type of wood that it was it didn't age very much i almost feel quite certain it's not as old as his rake that he has but he's only seen one that I can remember, and it was not exactly like what he wanted. And I don't remember even where he saw it now, but they're just not something that you come across very often. So he grabbed this rake, and I'm gonna insert a picture here. So he got that for $35, which, the $35 kind of makes me think it wasn't, it's not as old as he would hope, um, but he was still very excited to get it. Now, from that same vendor, uh, and I just, this is something that I probably shouldn't leave out, but I, if you're a vendor, here's a little tidbit. Yes, we did buy two items. I would have bought a ton of things from this guy. I loved all the things that he had, but he wasn't from around here. And I even pointed that out to him that I wasn't sure he was going to do much business with, you know, I said, you're not from around here, are you? Because we don't like that. Um, but you would ask him how much something was and he would say, well, I used to get, you know, like $400 for this next thing I'm getting ready to show you. And I was like, okay. Um, and then he said, uh, you know, and then it went down to 250 and, you know, he just kept going. I was like, I that's great, but how much are you asking for it for today? So he would give answers like that. 
And um, so I, I did purchase this. I paid $40 for it. Greg and I both have been wanting something like this. And I've only, I saw one one time when we went down to Alabama. And there were just other things that I wanted that day. But it is a um, rusty old wooden, I'm going to assume like milk pitcher. Um, I guess you could have put water. I don't know. That comes up. It's very gross and dirty inside. So I did pay $40 for this. Um, but when I, I had a 50 and so when I gave him a 50, he was like, oh, so you decided to pay me more to get a little bit closer to what it's worth. Let me tell you something. That might work in some parts of the country. Um, and I realized he probably thought he was being funny, but if you're a vendor, for the most part, people don't like that. Like you're naming the price. So if you want $400 for this, tell me that you want 400. Now I'm not gonna buy it. But just, you know, treat people with respect when they're making a purchase from you. They don't have to buy from you. Um, and in the same, if you're a customer, be respectful, because I'm gonna tell you, I stopped being able to be kind to this man, and I just walked off and let Greg handle it. Um, so, just something to be aware. You know, we gotta be kind on both ends, but that is not a way to be selling things. Okay, then we went um, <clears throat> to another vendor. I, if he's there, I've never really noticed him before. Um, and I, I immediately saw this, what I'm getting ready to show you in a picture. And I stopped and I thought, is that what it is? Now, it is in really bad shape. And all of the beauty that are in some of these pieces that would draw you in is missing. Um, I've seen these for as low as $425 up to $1,000. Um, but I just stopped dead in my tracks and I asked the guy, how much he wanted for it. And he said, and I even said it by name. I said, how much do you want for this old spool box? And he said, oh, I'll give it to you for $10. I didn't have any cash. And Greg was like six boosts down. So I was hollering, you know, for him to come down because I needed cash. I wasn't taking my hand off the box. Now, the more I walked around, I started doubting myself. So I texted a friend of mine and I asked her, I said, do you think that this is an old spool box and just all of the handles and the wording and all that is gone? And she agreed and she has one or two. I think she might have two. She said, no, it looks like it to me. Um, it's just, you know, all that is missing. She's like, you got a great buy. So y'all look at what I found for $10. Now, I know some of you wouldn't have bought it, and some of you do like to get the pristine items. I can't afford the pristine items, so I will gladly take my $10 spool box. I'm going to clean it up. I would like to display that in my laundry room once we get the laundry room done. I think it would be cute to kind of have sewing things coming out of some of those drawers. Um, it is missing some of the knobs. I don't care. Um... I just, I love the way the wood is worn, the crack. You know, at first I think Greg was a little, huh? But then it, it really started growing on him and he was glad that we were able to find that. Then while we were leaving, we had seen this little piece um, when we came in and it was like the very last booth as you were leaving. And so we went over and looked at it because Greg was thinking about it for the laundry room. So we, per so we were able to pick this piece up for $10. Like, you know, for $10, that was not a bad price. It is not by any means an antique rare find. Um, it was, you know, cool though. I like the wood. I don't like the color of the wood, but Greg does. And, you know, I like the chicken wire. And that's another piece that I'm considering hanging on a wall in the laundry room. But for $10, I mean, that is going to be a cute little display piece. So I will tell you that there were a lot less vendors um, at the flea market this month. And, you know, I've, if I'm remembering right, October is usually a pretty decent month with vendors. Um, there is, they do have the Christmas event. I think it's in November 
or I don't know. It may, I should have looked it up. I will have to, if anybody's interested, I'll look up and let you know when their Christmas, they have like a Christmas village event. Maybe some of the vendors had signed up for that and they just weren't there. Um, I also know that the rent has gone up. I don't know how much. I don't ask questions like that, but I do know that the rent has gone up and the fact that it poured down rain, um, which is why I didn't take you all with me because it rained. But anyway, I'm happy with what we got. It's not a huge haul, but it was a great haul. It was the haul of wood today. So I also have a very small thrift haul for you guys. So I have really only been trying to go to the thrift store on Fridays. Um, for one, my classes, um, you know, are kind of limiting me. I can't just run and shop and things. I kind of have to come home and get ready for my classes. And I will admit, I, you know, was getting a little irresponsible with my thrifting. So I'm going on Fridays and whatever I find, I find. So I did find now, y'all know I have my cat, Victoria, and she's kind of hidden, but I have found her two babies. I found her a third baby. So I'm going to clean her up and get her in there. Y'all, Greg, is so over these cats. He just laughs and doesn't even say anything. I don't know how long I will keep my little family. Um, but they're just cute and they're nostalgic and I like um, getting them. Now, I got that at Goodwill and I think she was, or did I get her? No, she was at City Thrift and she was $1.99. Um, I got this at Goodwill and I did pay $7 for it. And it has, it belonged to Martha Gale. I think on the back of it, it is stamped. Um, I can't see R or maybe CK company. I don't know. It has a crown, but I'll show you the back first. It is a stained and crazed platter. And then the front, it has a chip on it. Y'all know I don't care about the chip. And I'm going to try to get some acetone because it does have some little gold, um, stamp things that are already coming off and if they weren't already coming off it wouldn't bother me but um this is the front of this i know the lighting i've got this bright light above me the ring light so i did carry it around i even thought about not getting it but for seven dollars clearly it was coming home with me and my last find at city thrift now these were a dollar 99 a piece and they both work. Look, isn't that cool? And here's the other one. My son hated these. He was like, that is so cheap and nasty looking. No, I, I you know, I, it's gonna be fun. I will say, <clears throat> I don't know how long we're going to decorate with vintage Christmas. Um, this may be our only year to do it. We may be doing it for a few years. Um, but where my vintage Christmas is concerned, I have not lost any money. I can sell every bit of my vintage Christmas um, and make money if I choose to do that. So it is not going to be a problem if I decide, you know, let's go back to a more modern, updated Christmas. But I will tell you, we have had fun hunting down all of this vintage stuff putting it all together and it does bring back more memories for greg than it does for me um but it has just been a fun little thing to do together all right guys that is it for my nashville flea market haul um like i said i don't have a lot of things but i have some really good things that in my opinion my next video I'm hoping, depending on how heavy my homework gets this week, because y'all, I'm not one of those good students. I don't look ahead. Um, I want to come at you November 1st. We'll see. I have a special project going on on uh, Halloween night, but um, if I can get it pre-recorded and uploaded on November 1st, because November 1st starts Christmas, y'all. Christmas is here. Okay, y'all have a fabulous week. And until I see you again, happy thrifting.